You know, it's fascinating uh, when we're asked questions like this, uh, we ask them of ourselves too. We often think of these questions and struggle with it. Uh, when you read the story of the younger son going out and squandering all the father's wealth and returning, there are always surprises in Jesus' stories. In fact, I'm, many of you may know the name of Nabil Qureshi, who passed away, my colleague. He and I were in the process of co-authoring a book. And with Nabil gone, uh, Abdul Murray has taken that role now, and he and I are writing a book on the whole life of Christ through Eastern eyes. When you listen to the stories of Jesus, there are surprises in them that are both explicit and extended. You don't expect that story to end that way. The younger boy coming home, I come from the East. If I'd taken my portion of the wealth, my dad didn't have much, but if I'd taken it and gone and squandered it and then returned, I know what my dad would have done. Tell him to come right here and fall on his face and I want to talk to that boy. But the story surprisingly ends in two ways you don't expect. The first is that the father gathers his robes and he runs outside to welcome the son back. That's the grace of God extended in the gospel message, which is very unique. Please hear me now. In every other worldview, salvation is earned. Your good deeds have to outweigh your bad deeds. Your righteousness has to exceed your unrighteousness. Your karma has to be paid. Only in the gospel message is salvation a gift, the gift of grace unmerited by you. So the father comes out. The father comes out to receive the son. That's a surprise in the Eastern story. But there's a second surprise. There's an older brother who's pretty upset. He said, what's this? I've been here all along and he's the boy who's getting the party. What, have I, what, have, what do I need to do? You see, he's the one who had never enjoyed the love of the father, even though he lived under the same roof. He never got to break free from his own selfishness to enjoy the love of the father. I say to you, to somebody who doesn't want God, even heaven would be hell for that person. Goodness would be uh, uh, an angering thing to the individual. All I can tell you is this. If any man comes unto me, Jesus says, I will in no wise cast him out. You have the opportunity to come to him. If you desire not to be with him, he will second your motion. And that is a choice you make for time and eternity. There's a younger boy who repents. There's an older boy who's in the house, but never really enjoys being with the dad. You and I can fall into one of those two categories. Yeah.